Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll explore the inspiring life of St. Clair of Assisi, a woman whose deep faith, unwavering devotion, and commitment to poverty have left an indelible mark on the history of the Catholic Church. Join us as we delve into her story, from her early life in Assisi to her profound influence as the founder of the Poor Clares. St. Clair was born in Assisi, Italy in 1194 into a noble family. From a young age, Claire showed a deep sense of spirituality, often spending time in prayer and contemplation. Her family expected her to marry and lead a life of privilege, but Claire's heart was drawn to something much greater, an intimate relationship with God. Her life changed forever when she heard St. Francis of Assisi preach in the Church of San Giorgio. Moved by his words about living in poverty and complete devotion to God, Claire knew she had found her true calling. At the age of 18, Claire made a courageous decision that would define her life. On Palm Sunday in 1212, she secretly left her family's home and went to meet St. Francis at the Porziuncula Chapel. There, she exchanged her rich garments for a simple robe and committed herself to a life of poverty, prayer, and service. This act of faith marked the beginning of the Order of Poor Ladies, later known as the Poor Clares, with Claire as their spiritual leader. Claire's sister, Agnes, soon joined her, and together they lived in the humble San Damiano convent, dedicating their lives to Christ. St. Clair's life in the convent was one of profound simplicity, prayer, and penance. Despite the strictness of her way of life, Claire radiated a joy and peace that inspired many women to join her. Her unwavering commitment to the rule of absolute poverty, relying entirely on God's providence, became the hallmark of her order. Claire's love for the Eucharist was also central to her spiritual life. She spent hours in adoration, finding strength and solace in the presence of Christ. Her devotion to the Blessed Sacrament was so deep that during an attack on Assisi by invaders, Claire, weak and bedridden, held up the Eucharist at the convent gates. Miraculously, the attackers retreated, leaving the city and its inhabitants unharmed. Claire led the poor Clares for over 40 years, guiding them with wisdom, love, and humility. Despite suffering from illness for much of her later life, she remained steadfast in her devotion to Christ and the rule of poverty. On August 11, 1253, after a life of extraordinary holiness and service, St. Clair passed away. Her last words were a testament to her unwavering faith. Blessed be you, O God, for having created me. Two years later, Pope Alexander IV canonized Claire as a saint, recognizing her remarkable contributions to the Church and her life of profound sanctity. The legacy of St. Claire of Assisi continues to shine brightly in the Church today. The Order of Poor Clares has spread worldwide, with thousands of sisters living out her vision of simplicity, prayer, and trust in God. Pilgrims from around the globe visit the Basilica of St. Clair in Assisi, where her relics are enshrined, to seek her intercession and be inspired by her example. St. Clair is the patron saint of television and telecommunications, a recognition of the miraculous vision she had of a Christmas Mass when she was too ill to attend. Her life reminds us of the power of faith, the beauty of a life devoted to God, and the importance of trusting in divine providence. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of St. Clair of Assisi. Her story is a powerful reminder of the transformative power of faith and the joy found in serving God with a humble heart. If you were inspired by St. Clair's life, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more stories of faith, hope, and love. Let us seek St. Clair's intercession in our own lives, asking her to guide us in living a life of simplicity, prayer, and trust in God's plan.